Let's take a brief tour of the ActCAD interface. First, there is the central toolbox at the top, in a ribbon format including individual tabs, where all the tools can be found. On the left, we have the draw toolbar, with commands for drawing geometric shapes or objects. There is also the modify toolbar, for their editing. At the bottom, you will find the command area and the status bar. If you are familiar with the classic CAD format, then you can easily change the interface, and therefore the style of the menus, by using the gear in the lower right corner of the screen. Select Act CAD Classic and switch automatically to the most classic format. In the same way, Choose the 3D modeling interface for a toolbox in ribbon format, but with fewer fields. Let's return to our original drafting and annotation option. An important element of an efficient workflow is the organization of the model space. By having direct access to the necessary toolboxes and hiding any unnecessary choices. All options are displayed with a right click in an empty space of any toolbox. From this menu, we can minimize the ribbon menu. Enable or disable the command area, as well as the status bar. The tool palettes tab which is currently active, appears only in the ActCAD 2020 BIM version. It is a very useful tab, as it includes most of the design tools organized in sections, with larger icons and names. In particular, in the walls section, there are interior and exterior wall design tools, as well as various types of doors and windows. There are many options for customizing the interface to meet the needs and desires of each user.